Good morning, my family, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We begin in the name of the, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the manner of Saint Paul, I greet you. I, Father Don, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the Church of God that is in Kakana and Hauentown, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, we begin this morning with a scripture reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24. It is the blessings that God gave to Moses and to Aaron to bless the people. <clears throat> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you his peace. I share this scriptural blessing because it reminds us in our faith of the blessings of God in our life, of how through the gift of faith we come to know the hope, the love, the light, the peace, the glory, the wonder of life that God has given us through the life of Jesus Christ. And as we continue to take our journey in these unusual times, we hold before ourselves the reality of the re love of God and the hope and the love that God has for us that sustains us along the way. <clears throat> As I was reflecting about the many blessings God has given us in our life and how we simply seek to answer God's call and live our faith as well as possible, how we seek, in other words, to do what we can to bring that message of light and truth to our world, and to live in connection to the source of life that is Jesus Christ. How we can at times struggle with this call, but to be open to that call and where it leads us, and then to discover the glory and the wonder of what is possible through the love of God. This year, the bishop has asked us to celebrate a year of St. Joseph. And St. Joseph is an very interesting man and his response to God's call is great a great witness and a great model to all of us his world really was turned upside down when God called him to serve in a very special way and all the plans that he had for his life were asked to be surrendered to God's plan for his life and as I reflect about how Saint Joseph responded to God's call and God's will I realize his life really was radically changed. And that response to God was so powerful in faith that that is a great witness to me about how I am to live my life. And so I'd like to share with you the litany of St. Joseph that we will be praying throughout the course of the year as we seek to use his witness to follow his example to understand how each of us are called to live as holy as possible, God's plan for us, and to be willing to walk in unexpected ways where God's calling us to. And so the litany begins, and I will go through the litany, and in each of the cases where there is a response, I'll say, and the response is, Lord, have mercy. The response is, Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. The response is, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. The response is, Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. The response is, Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. The response is, Christ graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. The response is, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, and the response is, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, and the response is, have mercy on us. For each of the invocations, then, the response is, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of Patriarchs, 
pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent Protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Strong, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of Artisans, pray for us. Glory of Home Life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, the response is, Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, the response is, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, the response is, Have mercy on us, O Lord. He made him Lord of his house, and the response is, and ruler of all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your unspeakable providence deigned to chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant, we beseech you, that we may deserve to have him as our intercessor in, intercessor in heaven, whom we venerate on earth as our protector, who lives and reigns without end. Amen. In this litany, I find great hope and great witness because I realize the reality of how Joseph responded to the will of God in his life and how that really called him to take paths that he simply could not have imagined. And I'm sure at times wondered how he could fulfill God's will. So too it might seem for us right now, fulfilling God's will Responding in these challenging times calls for us to be able to surrender and open our hearts to God's plan. Peace and joy to you. Peace, the glorious peace that God and God alone can provide us. A peace experienced and discovered through the abundant love of God poured upon us through the life of Jesus Christ and the cross. Joy. The joy of experiencing and knowing the living presence of God that we, that is with us, no matter how challenging the trials we face. The joy of the living presence of the risen Christ blazing before us to show us the way. Peace and joy to you this day and every day. And the Lord be with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever.